Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Ash. And Inferna. And we wanted to take a moment before the show to thank our sponsor, Lovers Luxuries, located at 61st and Maple in Benson, the finest erotic boutique in the city of Omaha. You can visit their website at www.loverluxuries.com or you can Google them and find a location, uh, the, the directions to their store. Uh, drop in, say hi, and tell them the Angry Brothers and Ash and Inferno sent you. Well, ho we hope you enjoy the show. Bye. Bye. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. Things are keep improving for us here at the Monastery of Mayhem and with the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. We want to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos at 1123 Jackson Street in the Old Market here in Omaha. Uh, they are our newest sponsor and uh, we would like everybody to stop on down and uh, say hi to Smitty and Lenny and the rest of the artists down there. Uh, get a price on a tattoo and the next time you decide to have work done, be sure and, and visit Smitty and see what he can do for you. Now back to the show. Jack Angry Sandwich coming up. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Sid and Inferna. And we wanted to take a moment to, before the start of the show, to thank our newest sponsor, The Nightmare on Q Street, located in the Funplex on 72nd and Q Street in Omaha, Nebraska. Be sure and check them out. The haunt runs from September 21st through November the 4th and you can check them out by going to their website at www.nightmareonqstreet.com and again enjoy and pleasant dreams and tell them the angry brothers sent you enjoy Bye. greetings faithful followers this is your old pal brother jack angry along with inferna hello and sin <laughs> Uh, tonight's movie is going to be The Flesh Eaters, uh, which was made in 1956. It's really a, kind of a, kind of a third-rate rubber monster kind of movie. Deals with a Nazi scientist who creates a flesh-eating bacteria which he lets loose in the uh, waters around Los Angeles. And a group of uh, boaters that have to deal with this. Not the greatest movie in the world, but hey, you know, we still like these kind. Remember, if it's bad, it's good for the Angry Brothers. Now, on tonight's show, we've got some special guests here. We've got Josh and Sean from the Nightmare on Q Street. We're going to have hey. them come in here. All right. All right, guys, if you just want to just get right there. That's great. Um, now, so tell us a little bit about The Haunt and what you're trying to do here. Alright, well, we just wanted to talk about the haunt, what we're doing in the off-season, and uh, our new money-back haunt attraction. Okay, and what? Is, okay, and what's what's the uh, money-back haunt attraction? Tell us a little bit about that. Alright, well I can't tell you what goes on inside, you have to find that out when you get there, but uh, if you make it all the way through, you get your money back for both attractions. Okay, so, how, okay, how do, uh, is scary. it they are not supposed to be, if you're not scared, you get the money back, or if you just make it through? If you just make it through. Okay, yeah. so, if you're not, if you're traumatized <laughs> and you just get to the other end, you still get your money back. Yeah, correct. All right. Um, and this is a no-touching rule? Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. Oh. Sign a waiver. We could have some fun oh. with this. Okay, really? so. <laughs> well, yes, it's like I'd, kind of like, I'd like to see the two of you go through this house, you know. Waiver. <laughs> you know, the Don't. I'll be right behind you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Don't tempt me. Yes, uh, you've, been t you've been tempting me for quite a while. No. But anyway, so, um, <laughs> do you have like a way of... Uh, watching people while they're inside the house? Or? Yeah, yeah, if you pay five bucks, you can watch your friends try and do it if you don't want to do it. Or if you uh -huh. fail and you want to keep watching everybody do it, you can pay five bucks. And you okay. All right. Yeah. And so let's uh, so tell us a little bit about the uh, the main haunt, which is the actual nightmare on Q Street. The um, uh, Raven's Nightmare is the haunted attraction. Okay, Raven's Nightmares. 
Uh, basically, uh, you'll see a video at the end here, and it uh, explains the story of the haunt, but uh, it's just a haunted house that's basically satanic based. Like, Raven messed around with satanic power and opened a portal to hell and okay. took over everything. And because this is uh, satanic based, and that's right, we love start. that here on the Angry Brothers, you know, that rocks, but um, <laughs> Have you gotten any feedback or positive or negative from the community? I mean, this is Omaha, and let's face it, some people do get rather bent out of shape about that kind of thing, you know? Uh, we actually haven't had so many complaints. I thought we'd get a lot of complaints about the theme, but I haven't gotten any. Sounds actually. like everyone's interested. Yeah, and see what it's like. 95% of the feedback is all positive. Uh -huh. Yeah, everyone seems cool. to like it. So. Okay. All right, well, we'll definitely get the, uh, the video, by the way, will be on at the end of the show, and we will go into that in a little greater detail towards the end here. Uh, but tell us um, a little bit about how you guys think you stack up against the other haunts here in town. There's like two or three major ones. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a couple. Uh, well, we're friends with most of them, so we don't want to say we're better or anything, but we like, we're like we trying to be the best. We're trying to put on the best show we can. We get, uh, we're definitely probably the most, you get the most bang for your buck. You okay. get rides, you have yeah, two well, haunted attractions. Either. All of our scares are all mainly original ideas where we, we take normal normal scares that most of the haunts are familiar with, but we add that little extra to it. Okay. So we know what scares people. We don't use any animatronics or anything like that. You don't use animatronics? It's all actors? It's all or? actors, it's all rooms and illusion, and it's all about making making the guests feel like they're actually they're actually in the middle of, of okay of what's going on. on. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it that does. Sounds now, like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you go in. <laughs> yeah, it's like I I, I want to see the two of you go through it. You know, it's like I'll probably be screaming like a little bitch, but. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, yes, but that's neither here nor there. And if we get that on film, that'll be on the show. So, you know, any, um, do you, do you, do, are people able to get a copy of themselves going through the house, like on tape or on like a, a digital copy? No, we never had that before. Um, when we started out in, in his backyard doing that seasonal display, we would always walk through with like one or two groups a night and film them. Mm -hmm. Just to see how we were doing, you know, but... It was kind of, it was more about the guests being scared rather than, than seeing our performance every time we'd watch it. But as of right now, no, we don't have any uh, any videotaping mm. for groups. Well, uh, that would be a that would be a nice little souvenir, you know, your your little trip through the uh, haunt and everything. Down the road, possibly. Well, there's always room for improvement, you know. It's like so you can see this is an operation that's growing every year, right. and you guys are expanding. You add a little more, and right. you get a little more sophisticated every year. Right. Yeah. This year uh, we've been working on it since April on updating everything. Last year was 100 percent renovation. This year is probably 75 percent. So okay. Done a lot. Wow. All right, and um, well, let me ask you: Are you guys part of like the Haunted House Association or some of the national associations? And uh, yeah, I'm, hard, I'm part of the Haunted Attraction Association, okay. and uh, I went down to St. Louis for the Trans World Haunt Convention. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good one. Uh, that and the Midwest Haunters Convention. I mean, right, right. we try. We want to get down to some of these conventions. We're still working on getting to Horror Hound, and I hope we'll be able to make it there in yeah. September or October mm -hmm. or whenever they have the big one. I know. I know he probably doesn't like hearing this, but look how young he is and just got so much to give to people. So much scary stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah. So so many ideas. Oh, what do you what do you think as far as the 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 whole haunted house uh, mystique? Do you think it's getting better here in Omaha, or are we still a ways to go behind such venues like Kansas City and uh, maybe some of the, some of the larger haunts? Um, we're getting there. I mean, I want to eventually be as big as some of the Kansas City ones, like the Edge of Hell and the Beast. I want to bring stuff like that to Yeah, I've heard of the Edge of Hell with their, like, their three or four story slide and everything. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it's, I've been on those. Those are pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, they, they do look, from what I've seen, they look fantastic. All right, well, we're going to get back to the movie, The Flesh Eaters, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama. And we'll be back at the break with uh, Sean and Josh here, and from on behalf of myself, Inferna and Sin, enjoy, and we'll be back at the break. Enjoy. Hi. See ya. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. What, the, what is this? A rap video? You're trying a new thing. Well, of course, we got trying new things. Okay. Well, all right. Greetings, faithful followers, and welcome back. 
Wasn't that scary? I mean, Omar getting eaten by the, uh, the flesh-eating bacteria after the uh, Nazi doctor slipped it to him in that glass of milk? Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's why you don't trust yeah, the Germans. But anyway, um, what? Nothing. You're looking at me funny. I don't know. Okay. Yes, yeah, she is one of God's more unique little creatures, isn't she? <laughs> but anyway, we're back with Sean and Josh from The Nightmare on Q Street uh, and their new haunt, uh, Ravens. Oh, that's our, uh, that's our one for last, Ravens Nightmare. Ravens uh, Nightmare. Money oh. Back Haunt. Okay, the Money Back Haunt, Ravens Nightmare, and the Nightmare on Q Street. Or, I'm sorry, I, I might get those confused. Ravens Haunt is the newest one, right? No, uh, the Money Back Haunt is the newest Okay, one. the Money Back Haunt. <laughs> All right, well, we've got that. We'll, we'll get that cleared up later <laughs> on. Um, but anyway, a lot of people uh, I've spoke to say they're kind of reluctant to go through these haunts because there might be something that's so scary they could have some kind of an episode. Have you guys ever run into to that in your experience, that people have been so scared that they had accidents or <laughs> many times yeah I mean someone uh, yeah yeah okay we, we, we get the picture basically someone soiled the linen did yeah, they just not not once but twice <laughs> wow so uh, maybe you guys should like pass out adult diapers you know so maybe. much for the backup plan <laughs> Give, give everybody the opportunity to strap one on before they go through the haunt, you know? I don't know, they might need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't changing anybody's diapers. No. Not, not, not unless it's rem they're my own, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so now as far as uh, that goes, um, people I, I know are reluctant to go through them because they're afraid they could have, like, pass out, have a, uh, some type of... Cardiac episode. Amnesia. Uh, I don't know about amnesia, but okay. okay. But anyway, what sort of precautions do you guys have to to prevent that, or what safety precautions do you guys have? Uh, if you're epileptic, you probably shouldn't go through. If you have heart conditions, you probably shouldn't go through. Uh, if you're pregnant or you think you might be pregnant, you probably shouldn't go through. Things okay. like that. If you have back problems, there's a lot of crouching. And, with maneuvering around things kind of awkwardly so okay so but I mean if you're reasonably if you think you're reasonably healthy you, you're probably not gonna have a problem oh, right right no, but if you're, you're, you're daring, daring. Yeah, if you're daring but just in case we got emergency exits spread out through the haunt and uh, all of our actors are trained to uh, to keep the people calm and whatnot in case something did happen until uh, someone actually trained comes along but uh, we, we go through scenarios and whatnot, and we make sure our actors are trained. Okay. Do the right thing. And since you do a lot of crouching, have you ever had anybody had like an ep episode of claustrophobia or something? Or somebody gets into like a tight space and maybe freezes up or panics or something? Oh yeah, but yeah. it's just kind of, they have to work through it. <laughs> It's yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, we just can't go it. back. <laughs> yeah, it's like, going forward. So, so it's that kind of gorilla haunted house, you know, go forward or die. As it were. We're almost done, I think. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> All right, and I understand that you know what we were talking about earlier. You you guys don't use animatronics or anything like that. You pretty much depend entirely on actors to provide the scares. Yeah. So what does an actor need to do to be? Uh, what is somebody who might want to be an actor? What do they need to do? Or what training do you guys provide them? Uh, we teach them to be interactive. We don't want them to just watch someone pop out and go back, or watch someone say something and they keep walking. We want them to interact with them. They're talking to them. The guests are talking back. Okay, so you encourage interaction. Like some haunts I've been in, you know, you can't talk to the actors. You know, you can't touch them, and right. so on and so forth. And you guys actually encourage a more interactive experience. Yeah. We'll ask. We'll ask what what your name is and who's the most scared one in the group, and who hates haunted houses the most, or who doesn't like clowns the most. And, and well, then you pick on them. Then we'll just target them, maybe, along with still getting everybody else at first. Like, we, we want to be in your face. Right. Yeah. Well, that's good. And do you, how do you feel about hecklers? Uh, we use them. We make them feel stupid. Or we use a heckler to distract them and then scare them from a different angle. It's we use them to our advantage. Uh, that's for sure. So do you encourage heckling, or is, can heckling get somebody kicked out of the, out of the haunt? Well, it depends. I mean, every especially we had a lot last year because last year was our biggest year to date. But every time I had to deal with somebody, I just I made them seem like an idiot in front of their friends. 
Yeah. So you know, it's, it's so you, you take it and turn it back against yeah. it. Well, yes. Yeah. That's good to know. I mean, it's like it'll be an interesting experience. That sounds like fun. You're really corrupted. <laughs> and she would know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she would. <laughs> and have I told you how lovely you look today, Inferna? Thank you. Yes. Yes, you do. It's Not been much a while. Sleep. Yes, I know. And it's, you look. Yes, you look a little. Look a little tired. We're gonna have to kind of get you on a better schedule. I was excited to be here today. Yes, we missed her the last couple of. Uh, the last week and the last couple of episodes, definitely. And uh, we hope to have Julio back sometime when we can actually find her. Yeah, I'm missing hitting her bumper sticker. <laughs> yes, she'll come back with a whole bunch of new recipes for tulip pie, but you know we're not oh going. To, we're not going to go into that. But anyway, so as far as the haunt goes, I mean, what do you think is like the best? way for someone to behave at the haunt. I mean, obviously, you know, there, there's general rules that I assume that you have to follow. Uh, yeah, you can't touch actors or we can touch you. Uh, just be respectful. Just people when you're walking through scaring you. Mm -hmm. So don't spit on people and punch people and stuff. Yeah. And do you have much of that going on, spitting on, punching, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, a few really incidents last nice. year, but we drag them out. So yeah, we. You, you don't get your money back if uh, we drag you out because you're gonna be destructive. You can man is steel. It's not a good idea to, to mess around because we have things planned just in case people do. We want the we want the show to just continue running as smoothly as it does, and the guests that we have are actually are actually pretty good. Okay. Pretty good with dealing with our actors, even though we. How long and how long has your haunt been at this location? I mean, how since 2010 was our first year at Funplex. It's our third year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, do, do, did you did you guys come from like another haunt location, or is this just just the third year you've been in, in existence? Uh, well, we used to run a haunted house in my backyard for about six, seven years. So you were a home haunter then? Yeah, yeah we were a home haunter in 2006. Yeah. We made a deal with Funplex to put it on their property, so it all worked out pretty nice. Well, we're going to encourage everyone to go down to Funplex and check them out before the, uh, the weather gets too bad here and with the summer coming to an end, you know, you'll have some great entertainment opportunities with the haunts. Um, you know, and we will definitely be there to keep you up to date on everything. But we're going to get back to the movie here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama, along with Inferna, Sin, Josh, and Sean. And I'm Brother Jack Angry, and enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Three, two, one. Well, greetings, faithful followers. We're back, and wasn't that movie something? Yeah. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. I loved it. <laughs> well, yes, for 1956, it was pretty shocking as far as that goes. But anyway, we're back with Josh and Sean from the Nightmare on Q Street. I'll get it eventually. You know, it's like I like his truck. Yeah. So, uh, well, we'll have to we'll have to get some pictures of that on the uh, blog here and on the site. So, in in conclusion, guys, is there anything you want to want to else you want to tell us? Uh, we're still looking for more volunteers. We never have too many. Uh, what's the contact information? Yeah, if you want to volunteer, just make sure you're 16 or older and contact 402-215-4446 anytime. And uh, we'll be flashing that number at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, exactly. So uh, just be sure and give them a call. Now, what's the general age range? I mean, I know you, you just said 16 is the minimum, but how? what's the maximum? You um, could be as, as young as 16 or as old as 106. We don't care. So they just take the, you guys to take decrepit old farts like me. Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. As long as you have a dependable transportation. Yeah, if you want to scare people, come on over. And I've been scaring people for years without even trying, you and know. And all of you leave the booze at home. Yeah. <laughs> so I take it, you know, it's like, you know, everybody's just going to have fun, but obviously, like, no booze, nothing, yeah. nothing illegal, no... No, it's just, it's a good time. You're going to be, you're going to be seeing some intense visual images with or without the enhancement of drugs or alcohol. And do you have many uh, <laughs> actors in, in, like, the older age range, like 30s or 40s? Yeah. We have quite a bit, actually, that... Uh, that take it very seriously. That that uh, started back when when we started it. They've been in there since 2006. Actually, they're they're still with us. 
And uh, on a little side note here, uh, not to steal anybody's thunder or anything, the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama and myself, Jack Angry, along with the, my crew here, we have been named as the Midwestern Correspondents for Rotting Flesh Radio. Now our good friend who runs Rotting Flesh Radio, Jonathan Smith, is uh, from, uh, from Racine, Wisconsin, I believe, and he's been in the haunt industry for a pretty large number of years. Uh, so we're going to be introduced, getting him in touch with these guys, and we're going to get the word about the Nightmare on Q Street and the other haunts out through Night Rotting Flesh Radio, and you know you'll be hearing more of that, and you'll be able to look for our commentaries on the Rotting Flesh Radio podcast, and we'll be doing a video uh, commentary or blog on their YouTube page as well. So I just wanted to throw that out. If you want to check that out, it's RFR Podcast. Dot com, and you can also Twitter them at at symbol RFR podcast. So anyway, back to you guys. Um, is there anything else you want to say before we wrap this all up? Our opening night's half off, uh, September twenty first. So come check that out. It'll be pretty nice. And how long does the does the haunt stay open? Uh, on the weekend, so Friday and Saturday is still twelve thirty, I believe, and then. Uh, on every other day, it's uh, until 10.30. Okay, and are you open on Mondays and Tuesdays, or...? Uh, you have to check the calendar, because it kind of changes weekly, but the last two weeks, we're open all every day of the week, but uh, I don't think we're open like Monday and Tuesdays the other weeks. Okay. Up until November 4th. Okay, it runs until November 4th. Right. All right, excellent. Well, next week, faithful followers, we're going to be bringing you a special treat. This is a movie that is not widely run uh, amongst the horror hosts community. We're bringing you Galaxina, the 1980 science fiction slash comedy slash Star Wars ripoff done by Dorothy R. Stratton, who as you know was the Playmate of the Year for 1980 and uh, was just really starting with her modeling and Playmate career when she was tragically murdered by her husband uh, in a murder-suicide. If you want to Google more of that, you can do that under, by, under the name of Dorothy R. Stratton, and it'll tell you all the information. Uh, so we're bringing you, we're going to go ahead and bring you Galaxina next week on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. So on behalf of myself, Brother Jack Angry, Inferna, Sin, and Sean and Josh from the Nightmare on Q Street, good night and unpleasant dreams. Good night. Good night. Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Ash and Inferna. And we wanted to take a moment uh, at the end of the show here to thank our sponsor, Lovers Luxuries, located at 61st in Maple in downtown Benson, the finest uh, erotic boutique in the city of Omaha. We hope you'll stop in and visit them. And check out their website for really great deals and information about the, the store. And that's at www.loverluxuries.com. And tell them the Angry Brothers and Ash and Inferno sent you. Well, good night and unpleasant dreams. Mwah. Good night, guys. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferno. Hi. And Sin. And we just wanted to take a moment to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos in Omaha, Nebraska. Now they're located at 1123 Jackson Street, which is on the back side of the old market here in downtown Omaha. We hope you'll stop by and see Smitty, the owner, and Lenny uh, and Jason, two of his best artists. And they will be happy to answer all of your questions and deal with whatever your tattoo needs are, whether you're just pricing a tattoo, you have a design, or you need a design, Lenny and his artists will be happy to, uh, to draw that out and set it up to your satisfaction. And all of uh, their work is, all their work is backed by uh, Le Smitty and his artists, so you'll never go away dissatisfied from Big Brain. So be sure and check them out and tell them the Angry Brothers sent you. And if you'd like to check his webpage out, it's www.bigbrainomaha.com.
Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferno. Hello. And Sin. Hi. And we wanted to take a moment to thank our newest sponsor, The Nightmare on Q Street. And they are located at Funplex at 72nd and Q Street in Omaha, Nebraska. This is one of Omaha's best haunts. Uh, certainly one of their the most scariest. Uh, again, they are at 72nd and Q Street in Omaha, Nebraska. And you can check out their webpage at www.thenightmareonqstreet.com. And again, if you go, tell them the Angry Brothers sent you. And be sure and check out the other haunts in the Omaha area. You'll be glad you did. Now enjoy and unpleasant dreams. Ooh, good night. Good, good night. night.